Kieran Cobbler here for Noose MMA in partnership with MMA Play 365 here at Cage Warriors 109. I'm here with Perry, the Predator Goodwin. Perry, fantastic display for tonight. You looked like a changed man out there. Uh, talk us through, you know, what changes you make for this, this fight and because you looked phenomenal. Um, I didn't really change much. I switched, switched, some, uh, switched up gyms when I found out I was fighting um, the Afghan warrior. Uh, I decided to train with a real Afghan warrior in Abdul Mohammed at MFA. So I was going there once a week, of course, always training at TFT. Um, and I think it helped helped quite a lot. It was a very mature mature performance by myself, if I don't say so myself. Yeah, I mean, you look very trim out there as well, obviously, dropping, the dropping weight class. Do you think that was a major point? Because I've seen you fight at the heavier weight class, but t tonight you just look, you look more mo agile, you look more mobile. Do you, you know... Do you think this is going to be a permanent move now? Well, that's me. This is this is me at 145, so everyone needs to be uh, ready for that because there's, uh, there's this cardio. I'm not carrying this body fat that I had before, and the power's still there. So this cardio is going to be crazy for everyone, and I'm also strong. Yeah, I mean, you, there, there were so many opportunities in that fight where you almost finished the fight. Did you feel you know, were you slightly worried about you know maybe losing your patience a little bit and you know, letting make mistake happen? Because there was three or four times where I thought you know he's got he's got the fight here. I just had to listen to Andrew Fisher, my corner, Dicko, and they're just telling me, look, just just calm down, just chill out. He doesn't want to play the game, so don't fall into his trap of uh, doing anything wild. So I've done exactly as I was told, and I got the win. So that's, that's how it worked out. All right, nice man. And who have you started, you know, is there a list of opponents you want to go through in this featherweight division, or is it sort of cagers give you a guy and you say, all right, then I'll fight him? Uh, I normally do that. The cagers give me the guy and I'll fight him, but uh, I'm trying to be a bit more mature with uh, who I pick. I've always fought the best guys, and I'm still fighting the best guys. And fought a tough opponent there, but there's a lot of guys at 145, and you all know who you are because Cage Warriors told me your names as well. And you all know, you all say, oh, I'm not going to make 145. Well, I made it, so now I'm coming for each one of you and be ready. All right, man, and before we sign off, you got any uh, shout outs you want to make? Uh, yeah, um, uh, I want to say rest in peace to Nick Sewell, I want to say rest in peace to Kalo. Both died. Uh, this year really and it was a uh, it was fucking hard going all my sponsors thanks a lot and you all know who you are there's too many to name thanks a lot guys all right cheers man thank you for your time